Welcome back, everyone, to The Wolf Among Us. You're here with Rain of the Fever, otherwise known as Drax Craven, when we can complete... God damn it. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Thank you, Buffkin. Oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. Just one moment, please. Look what I found. That shard does not fit in that broken See, mirror piece. Dog wants a biscuit. Fuck off, Bluebeard. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So Everything is involved. Say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked Man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. That's over now, because we got the mirror, and once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Hmm. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Take a oh, number. Yeah? Take a number. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. Mary. Found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes. Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Oh, oh shit, like of course. To use you as a doorway. I think I already know the feeling. <laughs> well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing. That's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Thank Besides you, Buffkin. Which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. Maybe he I really can. He needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. So, you where's your that. glamour? I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, i got to send you to the farm. Well... How about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. Yeah, he's going to the farm. Colin is going to the farm. Well, I would say each case deserves to be decided on its own uh, merits, don't you think? Really, Toad, If you give huh. me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not going to ask for any more than I need. 
I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest to watch. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right. It won't be forever. Look, you were unglamoured three days ago. And you're still unglamoured now. I can't ignore that. But you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe you can come back at some point. Think about it. Best I can do. What a crock of shite. Government by the fables for the fables, my ass. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. <laughs> Looks like she really put well, him in his place. At least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Hmm. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. It won't be a well, problem. did you or didn't you? Whoops. Accidental silence. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. It's about There's control. one thing I figured out. It's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic he peddles. Chains. Ribbons. It's on his fucking Lily brand. doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Gotta say, using I Bloody to Mary. Say I have been better, but thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just, I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. I'm not gonna say anything. This is in my conversation. Still waking up a little. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh, shit. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Bad oh, plan. Her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. Yeah, no. So let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Bigby. We don't have a lot of time. Mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. So we just need to follow the symbol. The door. It moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Of course. We can't just dispense street justice. I wouldn't I imagine know that it. emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. Still. But we have to make a commitment to working within the law. No guarantees. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. Of course. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. 
I ain't got time to bleed. But no, seriously, I'll bring him in unless he tries to kill me. And he poses a lethal threat, at which point I'm gonna put him down. Just gotta hurry a bit. Oh, thank God. Just gonna open it, man. Oh, Jesus. How much does he spend just on the magic for the door? Oop. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I done fucked up. I am going into the lion's den. Or wolf's cave, as the case may be. Heh, <laughs> heh. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? You're at the Good business evening, office. Jeff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Of course. You're a grown man now. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call, so thanks for not giving me a hard time. You know, kind of small for a guard. I kind of thought the crooked man would have bigger guards. Trolls, ogres. I'm almost insulted he doesn't. Maybe he just wants to talk. Hmm. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Hmm. Fine, lead on. If I had to hazard a guess, they... Crooked Man has Tim here as sort of like a gesture of good faith. Like, Thanks oh, look who I hire. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I thought it was a joke, actually. I get it. You have a job to do. But you've got to ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. We can fix I this system. The position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy. Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Thanks. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. I mean, Tim, we're Thanks. at war. Some kind of a fucking joke to you. What did I tell Jersey. you? Jersey. Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah. Laughing. I ain't Go ahead. You got a job to do. I got a problem. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Gentlemen. Obviously, if we killed Dumb, he wouldn't be here right now. Who? Oh. Thank you, Tim. Ho. Oh. Raises a single hand. Accommodating sort. Oh, hello there. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Hmm. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. All right, let's talk. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Oh, yeah. Next time on The Wolf Among Us.
I've heard stories about you. It's time for round two. Days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <coughs> hmm. Did you send Colin to the farm? You win 10% of players decide Colin should go to the farm. Sorry, pal. Rules are rules. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? You and 63% of players did not try to remove the ribbon. Who are the sick 40% of fuckers who try to take away someone's bodily autonomy? Which crooked operation did you investigate first? You and 63% of players went to the cut above. Did you send Toad back to the farm? You and 24.1% of players decide Toad should go to the farm. Sorry, guys. Fucking glamours. Gotta have them. Work at the farm. Earn your way back in. You and 41.8% of players agreed to talk with the crooked man first. Certainly, certainly. Please, tell me all of your nefarious plans, and uh, then I'll learn how to thwart them. <laughs> anyway, that'll do for this episode of The Wolf Among Us. If you liked what you saw, like. If you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. And if you think that what I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. I can use that money to do fantastic, amazing things, like make more videos, start streaming, hire an artist to do cool shit, and do the coolest thing I can think of, pay more rent. But until then, good night, everyone. <laughs>